two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. As a dad, you never, I guess you're never ready for this event. We have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Parker, the first thing your mother would say if she was standing here is, I love you to the moon and back. Kelly and Parker are doing today is they are not only declaring their love for one another, which we all know already, they're not only doing so in front of their family and friends, which they've sort of already done before. They are doing so in order to bear witness to a hope, to a light that they believe should be shined in this world. Both of you are loved. Both of you are loved by a God that created everything that you see. So I can't believe this day is finally here. It just blows my mind that Kelly's already getting married. It feels like it was like two days ago that we were playing games in the back house and playing dress up. So it's very humbling, Parker, to marry a girl that was first team all state in soccer. She anchored the varsity relay team. I knew Parker was the, the right guy for Kelly. I can sit up here all night and say a lot of good things about Parker, a lot of positive things. He's got so many great qualities, I can't. But the quality that he has, that I'm most proud of, and that I respect him the most for, is that he is a good guy. And that's why he has so many friends, because he's a good guy. Parker chose Kelly, and there could not be a better choice. Parker saw something in you that I also have, have seen since I first met you. But you're always willing to do anything. Skydiving, paddleboarding, skiing, it didn't matter. You look incredible. Kelly, will you have Parker to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. The dress is beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> Looks so good. It was April 24th of 2010. Somehow, Parker and Kelly ended up together. I, you know. They'll have to explain it to you. I do not know the details. Don't want to know the details. And I knew then, and I told Parker, I said, that is a quality girl. You better never let go of her. I put that as the day that Parker found out why he was born. Will you have Kelly to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. That's incredible. You look like an angel. Ready? Yep. I remember one night we were at the gin mill in Denver. Kelly, you came up to me. You took your beer bottle and clanked it on the top of my beer bottle, causing it to fizzle out everywhere and spray all over me. And at that point, I really got it. You know, I think you and Parker are so similar in so many ways, and in the ways that you're not similar, you perfectly complement one another. You please raise your glass you know to kelly and parker y'all are both awesome you know life takes many turns some good for the and some for the bad but y'all have each other care for each other communicate with each other love each other best wishes cheers
talked about this man and this day for our whole life, and it's finally happening. Parker, you picked the best friend, roommate, teammate, and ski buddy to spend the rest of your life with. I, Parker, take you, Kelly. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Kelly, take you, Parker. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. And in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Parker and Kelly, may you love as you have been loved. Now that Kelly and Parker have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, and with the joining of hands and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. You may kiss the bride.